Please welcome Dr. Michael Ramsey. Well, uh, last uh, person to speak, I think, now today. So uh, I want to thank you all for coming. I think this was a tremendous meeting, great content. Uh, I want to recognize some of the people who come. Dr. Davila, who's uh, one of our board members, uh, bought. <laughs> In his old life, he was a craniofacial surgeon, which is one of the most complicated surgeries you can be doing. Um, but he brought a delegation from Mexico, and the previous uh, Mexican Minister of Health was here, the past president of the Mexican Academy of Surgery was here, and the numerous hospital leaders were here. So they've had to leave a little while ago, but uh, thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> well, have we made progress, or are we still where we were 12 years ago? And listening to OIG, we haven't made progress. I mean, we saw the real numbers that they showed us. The only thing that gives me real hope is, first of all, everybody in this room and what you're doing and the fact you're concerned because we can make a difference. I was impressed by the data that OIG came up with, but it really wasn't current data. And that's why I wanted Baylor, Scott and White to come here because I saw the evidence of that data and they had real time data Everybody knew twice a month what problems, and we'd identify people, physicians, nurses, everybody involved in the case, what went on, and how did this patient get a post-operative wound infection? And we'd go through every detail from what was the body temperature during the surgery, what was the antibiotic given, on what time was it the right one, what was the blood glucose through the surgery, and boy, when you suddenly found I was looking at anesthesia, so I'd look at the anesthesiologist. Then they, they were named, they were there, and we would tell them directly, look, you gave that antibiotic too late. You gave that, you let that patient get cold on the table. All these were factors that caused that wound infection. And boy, did you want to see people change. When you got identified, and you got identified real time because you remember that case well, they changed their practice. And we could watch the post-op wound infection rate go down. We could see the effect real time from real data on time. And so I'm hoping that the OIG, listening to what was going on with AI and technology on one of those panels, uh, that you're going to be able to get better data, timely data, and we will start to see improvement because you'll be able to identify hospitals immediately if they're not doing it themselves and hopefully Maybe out of PCAST, this transparency of data, if we can get, maybe everybody in this room could write to the White House because what Joe was saying at the start of the meeting, World Patient Safety Day, just in a few days time, he's got a big meeting at the White House about the PCAST recommendations. These were recommendations to him. He's not gonna be president much longer. I don't know whether the next president will be even looking at them. So this is the best opportunity we have because it's great data uh, and the president can implement it in the government uh, funded systems, which is Medicare, Medicaid, the Indian services, um, our veterans. Um, he could do that with a stroke of the pen. He doesn't need the Senate to, or Congress to agree with him. And um, because that's money that's already out there. Uh, so he could do something even he just did one measure, this would make a difference. So hopefully, thank you, Joe, for leading that uh, council, that uh, advisors, because that, that potentially could make a big step in our improvement. So I want to thank you all for spending your last two days here and for your time and your input, the panelists, the speakers. It was all first class. DA, I know you want to blow up physicians and medicine and start again and you did it with Spotify, so you may be right. Uh, it's just mind-boggling that, uh, you know, we could be thinking of doing that, but on the other hand, maybe that's what it takes. But anyway, thank you all for your inputs. Mike Millinson, uh, again, didn't pull any punches, and uh, we've got to do better, but I think the will is there, and we will do better. I'm optimistic. Thank you so much. <laughs>